Hey guys, I created a new world, a special slope so that Geralt could have fun and also I used vegetation tool. So as you can see, we have a little forest. Okay, it's not a forest really, but it's it, it's cool. Okay, let me let me show you how I did it. <laughs> so as a zero level motor, I use nothing but the provided tutorials, text tutorials you can find on the website that I mentioned in one of my previous videos. The first what you need to do is to create a new world, give it a name, this for example, and wait till it loads itself. Okay people, this is the basics. First we need a terrain, otherwise Geralt will just fall down and we'll lose him until he'll become very dead. So, you need to click on the tool panel on your right and there you need to choose Terrain Edit Tools. The window that you will see, you need to set up your terrain parameters. You can just follow whatever I do on the screen. These numbers are not mandatory. Just don't be afraid to play around with it, really. Here we're going to create a small slope for Geralt and it doesn't really need much space. So. Follow whatever you see on the screen or do something of your own if you're curious. I will just do something very close to tutorials that I found on online on the website. Okay, with this part everything is ready. Now we need to go to materials and here follow a very simple steps to add special tiles to color our terrain. This is the simplest thing that I can explain it really. Do you see this green arrow? It's very important. So there we will copy the path of uh, terrain pictures, so to speak, of the tiles um, into this line near the green arrow. So first thing that you need to do is you need to filter your assets and then try to find something. I don't know. Let's take Scaliger. And copy with the green arrow. You just click on the green arrow, but before that you must click on the file that we found in the asset browser. Here everything you might take from the Scaliger location, so let's pick this green one. And then go back. And click apply. Don't be scared, don't be scared. So this, this thing is normal as I read. <laughs> if you set up one uh, of um, the um, key parameters to below zero, so uh, the camera appears below the ground, you just need to hold Q and shift and you will rise up above the ground pretty fast. So now we can go back to terrain edit tools and play with different shape brushes. All of them are self-explanatory and if you use your mouse wheel and if you scroll it you can change the radius of this brush and um, it's very important that you click on the brush that you want to use because if it's not chosen you can't really do anything because the, the, all these um, parameters will be unable to change. So um, here is the fast video of me playing around with these brushes. As someone who doesn't really know what <laughs> what I'm doing here. But okay, you know, the slope looks nice. The only thing that I wasn't sure about is the decline is too steep. But anyway, I tried my best and then I went to vegetation tools. To delete the previous brushes that I played around with, you just need to click on the red cross. And now let's use our asset browser to find the vegetation brushes. So you need to filter. It's not mandatory, but it's easier. So you need to filter it um, and let's type flower. And you will have all the possible brushes with uh, very clear titles. Let's choose uh, a couple and just drag click and drag them to the vegetation tool window. 
I must say that the interface of this software is super user friendly. I, well, I used a lot of different types of software during my career and studies. And honestly, maybe because I have the skill, it's not that difficult, but you don't need to be computer savvy to use this. And the only thing that uh, I'm struggling with at this point is that, um, how do you call it? Topography, I think it's um, like I lose myself on the empty terrain and I don't know where to begin. But as any skill, it it will come to me, right? It will come to me. So <laughs> I'm still choosing whatever I should uh, use here. And as you can see, I also added a forest brush to create some extra vegetation so that this lovely hill wouldn't look too empty. Also. Uh, there is a really cool feature that you can use if you don't want to cover the whole terrain with um, your um, brush, with your flowers or plants, any vegetation, you can use a mask to paint the area that you would like to avoid and it will stay empty. You use it as a simple brush and your terrain will switch from green to red and if you want to erase whatever red areas you have, you just need to hold shift and then brush over it and it will it will erase itself. So it's pretty easy, huh? Another cool thing that this kit provides is the very simple hotkey Ctrl Z that deletes or creates the undo option if you did something wrong and you want to erase it straight away. So with these vegetation brushes you can use them as the cluster of items so all together as you see the blue lines it means that they're all selected and you can play, um, change the radius of the brush and therefore many items can be fit into this small or either small or big radius the, that amount of items will appear. Oh god that was a long sentence. <laughs> In the future, if you want to use a single item, you just need to click on the item in the list and you will see it when you paint and use your brush. So um, as you can see, I try to cover my slope with flowers and nothing works and the solution is pretty easy. I'm too far away, right? So Ctrl Z and do everything. Hold shift to erase um, whatever brushes you used. Um, pay attention that you need to choose the uh, correct brush to then hold shift and erase it to do everything again. So it's a fast video of how I'm trying to fix my mistakes and um, pretend that I'm creative so that I can cover the slope with beautiful flowers and, and then create a bit of a forest line to pretend that this slope is okay and it's hidden somewhere in the woods. Let's have a little rest while I'm speed painting over this hill and then we're going to change the weather. Not really change it, first we will add a real sky and then we will choose the weather. Okay, let's see what we have. <laughs> Abandoned tree somewhere behind. I don't remember where I put it. It's so lonely there. Okay, let's uh, so let's park somewhere on the top of the hill so that we can see both the sky and the uh, horizon. Also, it's a very nice spot for Geralt to land uh, when we begin uh, testing this area. The first thing that you need to do is to click the world option and there you have two key parameters that we need. In environment definition you set the general mood of your world, so the light, the color, I, I would call that it is the vibe of your level. And then the weather template is technically self-explanatory, so you just change the weather. Okay, let's jump back to our asset browser and the hotkey to that is Ctrl A. Uh, once again, you can choose to filter it and I tried to type the weather, um, the, the word weather 
Unfortunately, there's nothing to be seen and uh, apparently I did something wrong, so I don't know. Uh, what I did, I came back to our old friend Bob and here you go, you have um, this wonderful file with a little cloud and sun and you just click on the file and then click on the green arrow to copy it into the to copy the path and here we are i think it's Beclair. uh well the, the very nice vibrant color of the sky now what we need to do is uh, to actually set the weather and for that we need a special file uh, that has a pink bookmark and it looks like a spreadsheet i want to say um, so let me scroll down and um, we will see a, f yeah, a file with a pink corner, yeah, with a pink bookmark. Choose whatever you want. I wanted to play around with the Novigrad. So this is what I chose. Once again, click on the green arrow and it copied. So then, to set everything and play around with the weather itself we need to click on the sunglasses and the little icon it's on the top from the right side and here you can actually set the heavy rain it's a real real cool weather which, which i like uh, or just come back to uh, hell i don't know that's that's a weird vibe uh, or choose a clear sky light uh, light uh, rain dark clouds whatever whatever feels like your vibe today and we're almost ready to test this level so let's have a look if Geralt can actually go down this slope right so let's park uh, so that we will not kill Geralt accidentally somewhere here and let's click on the controller with the green tick and wait so uh, it's a night time let's see if uh, Geralt has a torch yes okay that's better um, so any moment now we will see if my slope can work mathematically <laughs> okay let's try Whee! Yay! Well, I think it's an achievement, guys, okay? It's it's my first slope. We're modding here. <laughs> uh, Geralt, you silly goose. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Um, first, um, let's see if we can meditate here. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Um, so we're changing to the daylight so that we can see a wonderful wonderful bluish greenish sky and uh, here we are here's our slope let's let's test it again i guess um run around it enjoy the forest and have another slide down <laughs> i love it okay Thanks for watching, guys. It was my first time modding, and I hope this um, mini tutorial from an absolute zero modder actually helped people who are on the same boat as I am now. And I hope people who have too much experience to watch this video have great fun. Okay, so <laughs> um, that's it for today. Have fun, play video games, and hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Bye!